Hi everyone, in this really quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to change the text display uh, for a toggle. So right now I have this toggle here for this list of tasks. And when I toggle this on and off, you can see that it changes from completed to not complete. You can do this for anything. So anything that has a yes, no value, instead of it saying yes, no, which is what bubble defaults, uh, that Boolean type of field, you can basically replace the yes and no with true and false, uh, sent and unsent, draft and published, really anything that you're working with, whatever it is, uh, you can make it more appropriate for your app. All right, so this is how this works. I have a repeating group here with a list of my tasks. I don't have any constraints on it. I'm just searching for all tasks in my database. And uh, I have the task title to display there in text, and I have my toggle element. Now the toggle element is displaying a dynamic value. It's showing me whether the task is completed or not because this completed field, I'll go into my data type here, is a yes or no value. So this is compatible with the toggle. So it'll be switched on if it's yes, meaning completed, or no if it's not completed. Okay, so how do we change the text here based on that toggle value or really based on that completed value for the task? So the easiest way is to just say current cells task completed, because this is ultimately what we're uh, reading. And then you want to do formatted as text. And here it is, here's where we change it. So I can say completed, and instead of no, I can say not complete. Okay, so now, and I think I've got a workflow set up for this toggle. Yeah, I've got it set up to change and update the task so we can preview this now. Okay, so I have these three tasks here, neither of them are complete. If I switch this on to complete, you can see that my text changed. And if I go into my database for my tasks, let's reveal the completed field here. And we can see that completed task six, yes. Task five, task eight, all of them are completed now. Yes, 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 okay. Uh, another way to do this is to, instead of taking the current cells task, you can actually just read the value of the uh, toggle. Uh, in some cases, maybe you, you're not actually reading from something on the field, but you really want to change the text based on an element on the page and it's not coming from the database. So I can do uh, the, basically the same thing. I can take the value of the toggle and uh, you'd wanna say when, you know, when the Ionic toggle is checked, then you can format that as text. So if it's checked, the value will be yes. If it's not checked, the value will be no, because it's basically like you're asking a question. Is the ionic toggle checked, yes or no? If it is, we'll say completed. If it's not, not complete. Okay, and that gives you the exact same result. The only difference, you know, when would you want to use the current cell versus the element itself, the toggle itself? Uh, the toggle will be good if your value is not being saved in the database, okay? So if this toggle is just kind of a standalone, uh, like you just have it preset to unchecked, then uh, that's when you would want to pull it from the toggle because there's no value in the database to use. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching.